Hey everybody, uh, let's talk for a minute about how to get ready for this Sunday at Bacosan Baptist Church. Um, first of all, let me say something about Saturday. So this coming Saturday is our annual spring cleaning day. Um, we're going to be meeting at 9 a.m. for those of you that are able to join us. And we will be doing some different jobs around the church building to help spruce things up um, inside and some things hopefully outside if the weather allows. Uh, many of you came and helped us last year. It was a huge blessing. We're so grateful for each of you and for your willingness to volunteer your time. Uh, and we'd invite you to come out and help us again this year. Uh, it's just a great way for us to continue to keep our building looking clean and organized and, um, and fresh. So we really appreciate those of you that will be able to help us out starting at 9 a.m. this Saturday morning. Uh, on Sunday, we're going to continue to journey through the book of Esther together. Uh, and this Sunday will be in Esther chapter 6, and we're going to look at Haman's terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Uh, so in Esther chapter 6, the story begins to turn. Um, up to this point, uh, it seems like one thing after another has continued to gone bad for the people of God. Uh, they are under an edict that is, has sent us all of them to death. And uh, where we left off this past Sunday, now we've learned that um, Mordecai uh, is actually under an, a, a kind of a um, heightened sentence of death because uh, Haman is preparing to execute him even sooner than the rest of the Jewish people. And so we're really in a precarious position. In Esther chapter 6, we see the story begin to shift. This is the crucial moment when the story turns. And it all starts with a king who is sleepless in Susa. Uh, this is an incredible uh, story, uh, and it's going to lead to one of the most epic and, frankly, uh, funny downfalls in the history of Scripture. Haman's terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day is... you got to be here. Hope you'll be with us to hear what God's Word says and what it teaches us about the providence of God. Our God who is working behind the scenes all the time uh, for his own glory and to accomplish his purposes. And there's so much. Can't wait to share it with you this Sunday. Uh, Sunday night at 6.30, we will be continuing our, uh, our journey through Jesus' seven words from the cross. Uh, so this Sunday night, we'll be looking at Jesus' words to his um, mother Mary and his disciple John when he says, um, Woman, behold your son. And he says to John, Behold your mother. Uh, and so this is an incredible word of provision uh, as Jesus uh, really in a powerful way uh, provides care for his mother. It's a really important text. Can't wait to share uh, with you that uh, what God's laid on my heart from that text this Sunday night. Uh, and then this coming Wednesday, so a week from today, uh, is Ash Wednesday. Hard to believe that we are entering into the Easter season. Uh, so we want to invite you to our Ash Wednesday service. Um, we are a Baptist church, and although Ash Wednesday has been celebrated by Christians for over a thousand years, it's not always had a strong foothold in the Baptist world. Um, in many traditions, you'll see uh, where Christians gather and there's ashes put on the forehead, that sort of thing. Um, and it's also a time to uh, remember our frailty and our brokenness and our mortality. Okay, so what we're going to do, and what we have done the past couple of years at PBC, is we'll gather. Uh, we're not going to have ashes, but we will have a time of celebrating the Lord's Supper together. We're going to um, be remembering our frailty. We're going to be remembering our sin. We're going to be remembering our great need for a Savior. Uh, and we're going to be looking at Jesus' words from the cross where he says, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And what I want to show you is that Jesus was God forsaken so that you and I never have to be. There's a powerful truth from this text. We're going to serve um, and enjoy uh, the Lord's Supper together as a church family. You're not going to want to miss this service, which is March the 6th at 6.30 p.m. Okay, lots going on at PBC. Hope that you'll take advantage of everything that you're able to. And uh, we just can't wait to see what God does through all this. Love you. See you Sunday.